I'm wearing this heart rate monitor and that's kind of the science behind this whole workout. Right, it's where science meets fitness. That's right, Max. I'm out here kind of in the median of Highway 6 between Harvey Mitchell Parkway and University Drive. I'm out here with Derek. Derek, you were driving to work uh, and, and things got a little icy here on this bridge. Tell me what happened. As a mother-daughter duo, you guys actually started your business at your home just a few years ago. So if there's anyone that has some home baker tips, it's you guys. We are live at POV and Brian right next door to the Stella. This place opens officially tomorrow. We're getting a sneak preview today. I'm here with Garrett, director of food and beverage. The corner of FM 166 and Wright Road. You can see FM 166 is closed to through traffic. A lot of water going over that road. And that's a road if you're here in Caldwell, you might take if you're heading towards Snook, towards Tunis. Here we've got something that actually won most creative and best tasting savory here with Mr. Tom Grace. What do we have here? First time ever winner of both awards. This is the funnel cake bacon queso burger and it is just what it sounds like. I'm here on FM 50 near Wilcox and Burleson County, one of our hardest hit areas. Uh, Shell and Max confirmed with me 20 to 30 inches of rain these folks got out here over these past few days. So certainly still some closed roads to be concerned with. Tap the top of the deck. Oh, See, I don't understand. This is why I love magic, you guys. Every time I'm blown away because I don't understand. So this is kind of someone's first reaction, like, oh my gosh, a fire. You think I've water, got a garden hose. but we're about to see what not to do. Absolutely. So we're going to step back. Lucky customer this morning. We're here in College Station about to make someone's Friday. I know if this happened to me, my day would be made. Departments from Deanville and Caldwell are up there now, and they've been working to put out some grass fires that sparked because of this, but at this point, those are all contained as well. We do know there's one home back there, uh, but the sheriff says there was no one at the home when they checked earlier this morning. We are back here in the kitchen at Cilantro Mexican Grill. I am working on this. We're, we're filling the tamales. We made this masa last half hour, and now you're showing me how to fill it. It's something even more popular in the summer, and we're trying it out this morning. Basically, you can just wake up and look like you already have mascara on. I'm here right now with Mr. Dwayne Strange. He's the emergency management coordinator for Burleson County. Go ahead and give us an update. Obviously, uh, looking a lot better than did a few hours ago. These are still warm. I'm living the blessed I life this morning. I promise it to be good. Oh, my gosh. This is a Yay. great, this is a great cookie. <laughs> Coming over here to one of the nine food trucks that are in here this morning, Frios Gourmet Pops. Ian, tell us a little about what you got here. Everyone gets one of these. Official Harvest Crew. Here we go. All right, making memories here. Should we give it a little wiggle? Give then? it a little wiggle. Okay, let's step let's off. See, let's see if you get it. Uh, oh. oh, that's all right. That's Do all I have to retry? Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll. This is harder than it looks, okay? I don't know if anyone's going to believe me, but y'all got to come try this out. <laughs> they play at 5 o'clock tonight. Oh, my Atlanta. I don't know how they do this part. Oh, no. Okay, well, you guys, I'm going to keep working on this. Um, for now, I'll send it back to you. She's, oh, no. She's going through the new record. Oh, there she goes. There she goes. Uh, when I come back at... Um, a little after 1230, that was the highest point right here. The Colorado River crested at 54 feet on Monday, leaving parts of LaGrange underwater. The highest that we had had prior to that since the early 30s was 45 feet. And at that time we had water in a few homes, but nothing like this. More than 300 homes and businesses in town have water damage to some extent. You uh, come down here and you see devastation like this, I mean, it just, it just you just, you just don't know how blessed you are. Hundreds are displaced. 225 mobile homes were destroyed in the flood. We thought it was just going to get to the skirts of the mobile homes, maybe to the porch, but we didn't think it was going to be as severe as what happened. None of us pulled anything out, so we, everyone here lost everything. The water went all the way to the ceiling, so nothing was able to be saved. No clothes, no furniture, nothing. Even though Edna and her neighbors lost everything, she remains hopeful. We have to start all over. So it's it's no use crying about it. It's no use just watching everything go bad. So it's, it's a new start. So we have to think positive. Though they have a long journey ahead of them, the people are determined to help one another get LaGrange back on its feet. We're doing good. LaGrange, LaGrange will come out of this. In LaGrange, Courtney Burris, News 3. If you're looking for a spot to cool off this summer, Cadillac's Backyard Water Park is a little off the beaten path, but there's something here for all of us to enjoy. It's definitely 
peculiar. I've never seen this before where I live, but it's actually really fun. I'm having a really good time. It's got a primitive feel. It literally feels like you're just in someone's backyard here to have a good time. There's no concrete at the bottom of this pool, but it's decked out with a super slide, zip line, and volleyball court. And it's BYOB. No one's here to come down on you. All we do is ask you to act like an adult and don't bring any glass, and everything will be fine, man. We just we just like that good laid back feel. You can chill at Chadillac all day long, but when you're hungry, hit the trail to Tony's Italian Delicatessen in Montgomery. Lots and lots of meat. It ain't Subway. The menu includes hot and cold subs, salads, and you can bet everything is fresh. A friend of mine told me about it, and I thought if I'm in the area, I got to check it out, and I have no regrets. It is amazing. My favorite is the Lucky Luciano because it has all your Italian meats. It's a hot sub. It's got the marinara, roasted red peppers, and I love spicy, so I put some pepperoncinis, top it with provolone, and it's baked. Without question, the Lucky Luciano is one of the best sandwiches I've ever eaten. Oh, we wow. put 100% into every sandwich and sub, and we're not going to rush it just to get people out of here quick, because we want to make sure they get 100% when they eat it, and they return for that 100%. Mary, Hootie, and Garrett's efforts don't go unnoticed. Because of stellar customer reviews, Yelp recently named Tony's the best place to eat in America. Doing what we do as stressful as it gets sometimes and sometimes we're at each other's throats. At the end of the day, it's like, man, it was worth it. Look at all these happy people and the people that keep coming back and support us and it's well worth it. Our trip to Chadillac certainly satisfied our taste for adventure, but this sandwich here at Tony's Deli is well worth the stop when you're cruising through Montgomery County. In the winning history of Brenham baseball, John Peters played a big part. The Cubs were state champions while Peters played in 1986, 87, and 88. I was very blessed to have great friends, great teammates, great coaches. Peters made headlines as he neared the national record for consecutive games won by a high school pitcher. With a national record on the line, junior pitcher John Peters gave the overflow crowd and the War Eagles his best stuff. In April of his senior year, Peters won his 51st game to break the record, which landed him on the cover of Sports Illustrated. Long blue jeans like O.B. Taylor and extra large ears. What do you think about that description of John Peters? Well, uh, I've got, uh, I know I have big ears, but... Uh... He was the first high school athlete to ever make the cover. It was an honor. I, I did look at it and said, man, this is really a lifetime opportunity and this very seldom happens. Peters finished his high school career with a 54 and 1 record and still holds the national record for most consecutive games won by a high school pitcher. You know 53 really I mean that, that it is crazy. Peters says things weren't always as great as they seemed though. The night before the record breaking game um, my girlfriend and I had gotten into an argument and I was done with everything and I tried to kill myself that night. Um, but no one, I never shared that with anybody till a year ago or so. While Peter signed to play college ball at Texas A&M, his career didn't work out like he'd hoped. I always looked forward to playing there, but it seemed like every fall I'd get hurt. Like I would rehab my arm and my shoulder would get too strong, my elbow would be weaker, then I'd have an elbow problem, so it was always something. Eventually it just took its toll. He went from having it all to striking out in college baseball. There were many nights I'd say, God, I don't want to wake up. Please. Thankfully, he didn't answer that prayer. Um, so, why why I felt that way, I don't know. Because I I really had it all. His need to be perfect meant loads of self-imposed pressure and led him down a dark path. I, I was divorced. I was in the house all by myself and um, drinking. I was drinking vodka and I. I was like, I'm done, I want to die, and it was like the lowest I'd ever been. And I heard a voice and said, hey John, it's okay, tell somebody. And I knew, I knew it was God. John got the help he needed. Since September 7th, 10, 2010, I haven't had a drink. I went to rehab and, and that's when life started changing. Now he shares the story of those tough times with others. That's been real rewarding to me. Because as I share with people, it seems like they share it with me, and then we connect, and that's what I love. If, if I can help others, then life's pretty good. He still loves watching baseball and gives private pitching lessons, but more than anything else, he loves spending time with his two children, Kylie and Jake. I love being a father. That's really one of my 
big goals is, hey, what can I do to be the best father I can be? Life may have thrown John Peters a few curveballs, but his is a story of persistence paying off. In Brenham, Courtney Burris, News 3.